I love when uh, I drive my truck and they recognize me and they go, there she comes! Yay! Art. Not food, not ice cream, but art. I thought about an art truck because it's necessary. Working with these children and the families, they don't have access to transportation or they're afraid. My name is Rosalia Torres Weiner, and my home is Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm an artivist. I call myself an artivist because I have combined my art with my activism. I had a mural business for many years here in Charlotte. My art represents uh, with colors and shapes, vibrant people. Represents the stories, the stories of uh, our Latino community. And I painted this mural right there where they live uh, with the skyline of Charlotte and with Our Lady of Guadalupe and the butterflies that represent us coming to Charlotte, that they have that feel of belonging. These are heartbreaking stories. Families being separated by deportation. People didn't know that the deportations were happening in Charlotte. And I needed to do something with my art. I, I tell them, can I share your story? It's, the, it's just not like, you know, I just paint. I talk to people. I listen and then I create art. I tell them that they can tell their stories. They can express themselves. And especially, like I tell them, art heals. So I think the concept is new. They don't know that there could be an art truck delivering art instead of uh, tacos and food. For a long time, I wanted to own a truck, an art truck, and uh, bring it to festivals and, and neighborhoods and um, communities where there was no access to the art. See? Me da miedo. Sí, es parece como que tiene su chaqueta como tú, una chamarrita. ¿Ya terminaste? Y pero yo no le veo que le firmaste ahí. ¿Mi nombre? Sí. ¿Lo puedes poner aquí? So having an art truck and bringing the art truck and the art right outside their doors. It's very special. I remember a little boy, he uh, hugged me, he came and hugged me and he said, this is the best day of my life. Because of them, um, I come back. <laughs> You're doing so good, I like that portrait. In Mexico, when I was a, a little kid, I remember my mom used to take us to kite festivals. A kite is a, a symbol of Mexico. And I invited children to come to my studio and create a kite with me so they could tell their stories. My idea was glue their little story that they drew on a piece of paper on the kite and then fly it. For me, it was like a way to let it go. You're going to be okay. When I start painting about immigration and social justice, a lot of my friends, artist friends, they said, uh, you're not going to sell. You're not going to make it. And I said, I'm not here to sell. I'm here to send a message. Now that they see me, that I have my 
art truck that I'm at the Smithsonian, that I'm, you know, in other museums, they have a little, you know, respect. A lot of people, they don't know that art is so powerful. And this is a celebration of uh, the Dia de Guadalupe, but it's also about us, the community. This is what I wanted to paint her because it also brings us love and bring us together and give us hope. Representándonos a todos los que llegamos aquí a Charlotte y nos quedamos, porque esta es también nuestra ciudad y estas son nuestras tradiciones, esta es nuestra casa y aquí nos quedamos y aquí no nos vamos a ir. One kid, you know, making a difference, one kid at a time is worth it.